It's What's Opening This Week, brought to you by our friends at AMC Theaters. Now, in What's Opening This Week on Tuesday, we talked about one of the major films opening straight out of Compton. And today we're going to talk a little bit about the other major film opening, The Man from UNCLE. So, Ashley, tell us a bit about it. At the height of the Cold War, a mysterious criminal organization plans to use nuclear weapons and technology to upset the fragile balance of power between the United States and Soviet Union. CIA agent Napoleon Solo, Henry Cavill, and KGB agent Elia Kuryakin, Army Hammer, are forced to put aside their hostilities and work together to stop the evildoers in their tracks. The duo's only lead is the daughter of a missing German scientist, whom they must find soon to prevent a global catastrophe. Christian, should people go out to see the man from uncle um i think it, it just depends on what your budget's like right now it really <laughs> does it's like it's it's not a movie that i'm gonna tell you okay guys wait a minute i just saw a man from uncle get into the theaters and go see it immediately however if you're going there and you're like ah, i was curious about that movie and i was gonna go see it should i then i would say yeah because it's a fun movie guy Ritchie really has fun with this with with the spy genre and i think I, I was not a fan of the original television series but from what i hear it pays nice tribute to it i think army hammer is the best that he's been in a while it's to me it's not really saying that much but he's been he's been it's nice to see him have this type of chemistry with henry cavill and i love alicia vikander anything she's in i'm all for she's in that movie uh burnt it's probably why i bought it but um <laughs> but but this particular movie if you're going to the theater and we're planning on see it then i would say go check it out but i also don't think you would be upset if you caught it on uh, cable I will be one of those guys who says, I just saw this movie and I think you absolutely have to go. I loved Man From U.N.C.L.E. I had so much fun with it. Um, it, it harkened back. We talked a lot about it in our review uh, the other day, but you know, it harkened me back to a lot of the spy genre films that from the late 80s, early 90s, but all the best pieces of it. I just thought, and the chemistry between the guys was far better than I thought it was going to be. This is a great weekend if you are a movie fan and you love going to the theaters like I do. You got straight out of Compton, you got the Man From U.N.C.L.E., Plan on making multiple trips this week. I, I absolutely think you should go see Man from Uncle. Yeah, you can go see it. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's it, it's not anything permission. you got to rush out to see, but it's a, it's a fun movie. Guy Ritchie, it, it gets a little style over substance for my taste. The story didn't factor into the movie as much as I wanted it to, but watching Superman and the Lone Ranger go head to head on screen, I wasn't sure I'd be into that, and I was. Their chemistry is fantastic. When you throw Alicia Vikander in the mix, she was so it's good. So much fun. I wish Hugh Grant had more to do in this movie. Agreed. When he's on screen, do not use those opportunities to take a peek because he's not going to be on there that long and he's really fun to watch so sure check it out if for nothing else it will cure your spy hangover from mission impossible rogue nation and then get you to specter in november it is the year of the spy movie